All right, thanks for tuning into this week's video on the Pentiac Wilderness Channel. Uh, what we're doing this week is we're modifying a tractor trailer so that we can take our logs from the milling site down to the build site. Um, one of the problems in moving from one place to another is that uh, there's two large hills we have to go down. So despite strapping and securing the logs to the trailer as good as possible, we wanted a second uh, way to prevent the logs from sliding forward uh, while going downhill. So in this video, we'll just show you how we modified the trailer to try to achieve that. Hope you enjoy. So the first step um, we did before this video, and we just welded on two support brackets in the front of the trailer, and these were made to receive two vertical posts, and what we're doing here is just measuring to see how high we want the posts to be. Um, given that the most we'll probably be carrying is two ranks of logs in an even trip, we decided that uh, three feet was probably enough for the vertical height of each post. And then I'm just measuring the size of the support brackets so that I can mill out the appropriate size wood to slot inside. Um, so then we moved over to our work site and I'm just making some marks here on where I'm going to cut the piece of wood you see me working on. Um, so then I cut out uh, two three-foot sections, and these will be used as the vertical supports in the trailer, and hopefully we'll slide inside of the support brackets well. Um, so I've used a handsaw here, which I often do if I'm just making a few small cuts. It tends to do a good job and really isn't that much work. Um, so then we took the vertical supports over to the trailer uh, just to check if they fit into the supports that we welded on and they, they seem to fit pretty well. Um, and then we went and got some two inch planks uh, that we had milled previously and cut these to five foot lengths. And these are what we're going to be using for the uh, horizontal pieces on the uh, headboard. So we brought them back to the trailer made a few adjustments to the position of the vertical piece and then screwed in the horizontal pieces to the vertical post. Um, put a few screws in there just to make sure they're good and solid. And it took uh, three horizontal pieces to get to the height we thought we wanted of three feet above the bed of the trailer. And uh, I was pretty happy with that. And it was a nice way to use some of the uh, wood we had already milled. Um, I used, I think, three and a half inch screws just to make sure I had good purchase um, when I was screwing through the two inch planks into the support post. So you can see here the almost finished product with the two vertical posts and three horizontal um, planks going across. And then I just cut one angled piece that you'll see in the final video to add some structural support. So I'll hand the rest of the video over to my father who will just uh, explain kind of why we thought we needed to do this from his experience out in the woods. What we're doing here now is building a headboard for the wagon and reinforcing it with a cross member to add strength because we're going to load this up with those 7 by 12 timbers and take it down through the woods. Going downhill here will be probably the hardest spot the rest of it will probably most be mostly downhill. So all the pressure from all the logs is going to come ahead and hit this headboard. And what we're trying to do here is add another diagonal to add strength to the headboard. We used leftover pieces for that. Extended the post a little bit so we can put anchors in there so that it won't pop out either from bouncing on the road or bouncing into the woods and that sort of thing. Or bouncing because the logs are bumping up against it and as you can see there are only 461 flies per square cubic foot today I should wear dressed up like this yeah. anyway thank you <laughs> 